Traders today shrugging off shutdown worries. Two indices notching record closes. The Dow finishing up 53 points to close at 2671. The S&P 500 up 12 points, ending the day at 2810. That's a new record. And the Nasdaq up 40 points, finishing at 7336, also a record close. Market analysis now from Diana Lynn. She's from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. She joins us from the newsroom this evening. Hi, Diana. Hi, Brian. Let's talk about shutdown. Apparently, it didn't bother investors. They pushed the markets up again. Yes, it was a distraction, but investors were also focused on the latest rounds of earnings reports and the new consumer data we saw. At the end of the day, the markets were up almost a half a percent, so a nice close to the week. Is there a tone, though, in Washington? I mean, we hear this back and forth. Schumer goes to the White House, says, well, we talked about things, but we still don't have a deal. Does that indicate, do you think, to the uh, investors that they should be worried about what's going on in Washington at all? Yes, yeah, so investors are definitely aware, but I think if they were really concerned, we would have seen a drop in the markets. Now, I'm not downplaying a potential shutdown, but this is also nothing new. We have seen 18 government shutdowns in the past 40 years, the most recent one being in October of 2013. It occurred for a couple of weeks, and actually during this time frame, the markets were up two and a quarter percent. So the overall takeaway here is even if we do experience a potential shutdown, it does not necessarily mean a negative impact on Wall Street. And the shutdown talk, obviously not the only thing that would move markets today. We had some reports today. What did we get? Yeah, we did see an unexpected drop in the consumer sentiment report, but the optimism still remains high. Consumers remain confident about their jobs and the overall health of the market. So perhaps maybe some of this weakness is people just trying to get their heads around this new tax reform. While many consumers are clearly going to benefit from the new plan, others in high tax states are worried that they might be pain more. Speaking of high tech, one of the big names in high tech, maybe the first name in high tech, IBM, not a good day. What happened? No, not a good day. IBM reported their earnings after the close yesterday, and investors did not have the opportunity to react until this morning. Now, despite positive Q4 results, IBM took a hit. They were down 4% today. So positive results, but what did investors see that they didn't like? Well, analysts wanted to see more. They were hoping to see more positive numbers in the IBM's new um, computer and artificial intelligence. But what they saw was more of the same, the old mainframe really leading the quarter. And that was a disappointment to analysts. Living up to their name as being one of the oldest, and that doesn't look good. Diana Lynn of Advisor Investments, Newton, Massachusetts, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.